Hi guys! I hope you're having a great day. We are here to do a little tutorial for the artist trading coins I made for the month of June of 2019 uh, for a challenge that went on in the Facebook group Art Joy of Sharing. We were challenged to do an artist trading card every day for the whole month of June. Now, I chose to do coins mostly because I'm lazy and I already had them punched out. At least the center plain white circle part that you see here in the, in the middle of the screen and the backer card also that you see uh, the little coin for the back. Uh, before I moved in September um, to a different whole state, um, I thought that I would create these little artist trading coins um, as something to do so I didn't go crazy having all my stuff packed away. Uh, it ended up that things were so crazy and chaotic that I didn't get any of them done. So I still had all these pieces punched out. I thought this was a good opportunity to use them up. Now, it also happened that I got some fabulous happy mail um, at the same time I was doing these coins. And um, I believe her first name is Carolyn Shanks. She is a Etsy customer and um, she sent me um, this really wonderful little piece of happy mail and to be honest I didn't see the note on the back of it till after that piece of paper until after I'd already punched something out of it So oops my bad But thank you so much for the sweet note and the fabulous pieces of happy mail because I've already used most of them um, on coins and paper clips anyway, I when I'm making the coins uh, I just chose bits and pieces literally at random whatever was on my desk or in my ephemera bank, uh, whatever was inspiring me, and I assembled them for the most part with a glue stick and tacky glue. Now, there were a few times when I made the coins where I attached something fairly heavy, and that meant I had to use E6000 or staples or brads, or um, I even have a, um, a few things that I had to stitch on or attach some other way that were really heavy on both the coins and the paper clips that I did this month. And there will be a pa paper clip tutorial coming at some point. Anyway, to make an artist trading coin, it needs to be a two and a half inch circle. For an artist trading card, it's two and a half inches by three and a half inches. I have an EK success punch that is a two and a half inch circle. It makes the process very easy. The um, backer, um, artwork that has where you put your name and the name of the coin and the date and all of that is actually one of a number of um, artist training co coin downloads that is in my Etsy shop and most of the words that I used on the coins this month for the month of June are also from downloads from my Etsy shop. Now the link for the Etsy shop is in the description below. I do have on this one, um, of course, I have these bits and pieces um, that I got in the happy mail, but we're about to break here uh, the video footage and you will see me creating a coin here earlier in the month. Here's a side view of the table. Uh, again, um, the centers are mixed media paper and they were punched with that EK success, success punch I just mentioned. The backs were also punch, punched with that punch and they're from my Etsy shop. The front that I use here, the owl painting, is a copy of one of my original pieces of artwork and it along with many others is part of an artist trading car coin download that's also in the Etsy shop. So anyway, oh, I use a lot of digital prints of my own artwork, as Tracy Bautista would say, leveraging my own work in other works. And um, I really enjoy that process and figuring out new ways to change them up and make them new and different. Um, I do layer the pieces with a glue stick. Um, and here you see me doing a couple ahead of time. I was going to be out of town one weekend and I knew that. So I did a coin ahead of time. But I do just pick pieces at random. I have a pile of stuff usually on my desk and if one is on the desk is not inspiring me, I do have a bank of ephemera bits and paper that's across the room that I can use that too. Now that one um, design that I'm trying to figure out a backing piece of paper for to stick that on the card is a different digital download that's in the SD shop. I have a lots of digital downloads of things that you can copy and use as ephemera, uh, use as collage material, use as backgrounds in the shop. And I have to print them to, for the shop so I have something to photograph. And so I ha 
that means I have tons of them laying around. So I thought, you know, it's about time I use my own stuff. <laughs> to be honest, this isn't a commercial for my store, but I just have all this stuff laying around. It's about time I use it. And that brown paper, I think is brown deli paper. Um, I use, I found old postage stamps in my collection. I forgot I had uh, vintage book papers as part of this process. Um, those little plastic bread tabs, uh, all kinds of things that I forgot I had in my stash of ephemera that I was able to use and combine with different digital prints from my own collection. I had some from other artists that I used, including Peg Robinson and a couple of other people. And I enjoyed very much finally using up those things I've been collecting for years and using them in a creative way. So that was a lot of fun. I did occasionally rough up the edges of the coins um, with a distressing tool. I think the one I have in my hand is a Tim Holtz distressing tool. Uh, I sometimes inked the edges. I sometimes doodled on the coin. I, no two were the same. They were all different. And I used found bits and pieces from my stash on all of them. Um, I didn't realize how much stuff I had <laughs> until I started making these, to be honest. And I've purged and I still have a lot. But anyway, um, they were a lot of fun to make and I had more fun with it than I thought I was going to. To be honest, when, th when I found out about the challenge, I moaned and groaned and went, oh my God. <laughs> But I did have a lot of fun with the challenge. It was a quick and easy way to add an additional um, daily art practice to my day and use up stuff and find stuff. When I would run out of inspiration on the table, I went to the bank of pieces of ephemera and I went over there and just dug through a few bins and baskets and pulled out a few more pieces. Um, I do find that if you're gonna do this, um, every maybe week or two, you need to go through your desk and you need to clean and put everything away. Because after a month of doing ATCs, and I did paper clips too, which again is coming up in another video, oh my gosh, was my desk a disaster. It was really messy and crazy. And at some point it was, for me, too messy to be very creative. So I had to clean it up so I could keep going. Um, here on this particular coin, you see I have um, put a piece of wood. And that's because I think I decided on that particular one, what I was going to do is make it a paper clip, which I did do. I was doing paper clips and coins at the same time for the whole month of June. So going back to the owl, I have all kinds of strangeness in my collection. This is a piece of a broken zipper and a metal can tab from a can of soda. And I have pieces of elastic and I have smashed pennies. If you've ever been to an arcade or a tourist site and you've smashed pennies, I, I love to smash pennies and I bring them upstairs and use them on my art if that's if I don't keep them for just a souvenir. Uh, so all kinds of stuff are appropriate for these artist trading coins.
have some fun, do some experimenting, and I really encourage you to, whether it's a coin or a paperclip or a tag or something else, get out some of those small, weird, strange bits we've all been collecting or we've been gifted in Happy Mail and create some little daily small art projects uh, and have fun with it. I love to put words on almost all my work, so for me the words were really important, but they don't have to be. It could just be a random collage. Think about it and see if you can incorporate some of it in, in your day and in your collection. This And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. I do answer my um, comments and DMs every day. Uh, if you uh, want to follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube by shopping in the Etsy shop or getting some merch on Teespring or joining Patreon and supporting me over there, whatever it is, or maybe you just want to follow me on Instagram, um, go to the description of the video and click on the link tree list uh, of links, the link tree link, and it will bring up a whole list of places you can find me on the internet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like make a coin. And that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.